My voice sounds weird in this one. Apparently it's changed over the last half a year. I basically still agree with everything I said in this video, that making a game that has good and bad aspects is a cool idea, leading people to be invested unironically, and then turning the game into a shitty mess to frustrate them. Maybe a bit poorly explained though, eh? Video about making dialogue wheels. It's a bit heavy on the details which perhaps ends up being a bit unclear, but pretty alright overall. Making a second video a week after the first, of course, led me to the habit of making videos every week, so in a meta sense it's good for that, but the video unto itself I don't rate that highly. Man, it's kinda hard to hear what I'm saying sometimes. To me, this video is a few minutes of talking about something that I never fully realised. Although, I guess I could still do that in future. Taken unto itself, the video is pretty meh, like the previous one. Not great, not awful. This is my magnum opus. Man, these dev videos are kind of meh, I'm realising. Shitty clickbait thumbnail, it was fun and the video is very silly, but obviously it did not function that well for getting clicks. I forgot to add one joke where the value in the thumbnail would be a million dollars and five cents or something. This one's funny and the visuals are uncharacteristically good. All the flying spaghetti monster jokes are also good. Quick tutorial on a useful topic funny ending, nothing really much to complain about here. This is useful too, actually I'm probably going to use this one as reference for myself. Good job Yokos. Huh, I never made more Surfrey. This video about it is kinda nothingy I would say. Cool presentation though, lots of funny drawings. It's the it's the Fishticuff soundtrack, it's good, it's, I like it. This video is better than I remember it being. Perhaps behooves me to make a short guide on how fragment shaders work though, I think that's a bit of missing information here. This one's a really nice video, I like it. The your mum jokes in this video are great and the music leads to a much comfier and more chill feel than my other videos. I will say though that this is another one of those just showing what I'm up to videos, and I'm not sure I get the appeal of those, at least when I make them. It's the soundtrack of that last game, I like it, it's good. The art's good, and this video has some good intel as well. I like the occasional cutaway to show some principle, even if it's not terribly clear. The cutaways to Dota are broadly unnecessary though, I'd say. Bruh, this video's freaking funny as hell, what the hell? I knew at the time even that this isn't exactly how habits work, but I think it's close enough to not really make much of a difference. Good video, I should perhaps take its advice into more corners of my life. This video hits different now that the update it's talking about has been released. My voice is a lot more audible in this than it was in some of the first videos though, good change there. These drawings are fun and so is the video, I like the arm jokes a lot. Generally it's pretty jokey and funny, good video. I don't really have much to say about these game dev videos anymore. I like that this one has a running joke throughout though, I guess. Dude, this is such a good trick, it's so easy but I do it all the time to great effect. 10 out of 10 intelligence. Look, I needed to put out a video that week, and I've gotta say, the abject stupidity of this video is delightful. Basically just a trailer for the Fishticuffs update, it's alright. I'd sit around vibing to it if it were longer. Always love these end of year recaps, some of my favourite videos of mine, and this one is one of the better amongst them. Alas, it seems to not exist at high resolutions for some reason, so that's a certain black mark against it. The pacing is pretty good in these annual recaps now though, and it's a good length for me to sit around vibing to it. Oh yeah, and the orchestral Fishtikoff's music I made for it ended up being pretty good too. Solid video. Micro guide on making bullet hells, it's good. Didn't go into a lot of detail, there's a lot more that I could say about making bullet hells, which I probably will at some point. I tilted the code screen thing, and I can see why that's common in devlogs and such now. I just made this one last week, so it's hard to rate. I think I don't like it that much though. Gives me an idea. Perhaps future videos should be laser focused on a particular idea. Maybe I'll try that. Welp! That's six months of weekly videos. I honestly didn't expect to keep going that long. As a wise man once said many times over the last half year, Bye! Whee!